story a Virginia Beach teacher is in serious condition after she jumped from a second story window to escape a fire. Family says Kathy Nostelli lived in this townhome on Biltmore Drive. Officials believe the fire started in the kitchen of her home. 10 on your sides Ann McNamara spoke with a man who caught Nostelli when she jumped and Katie Lewis Michael Jenis lives in Norfolk but he was at a barbecue in Virginia Beach when he smelled smoke that wasn't coming from the grill. I was actually in, in here, just managed to get myself all the way. Lewis Michael Jenis pushed his way through the bushes below the second story window. In it, he saw the face of Kathy Nistelli. She was surrounded by smoke and flames and screaming for help. We were begging her to jump. She disappeared from sight for a moment and I got very concerned. And then I noticed her foot, she was, she was coming out feet first. And then she hang, fr hung from the windowsill and, um, and eventually uh, she jumped. Jenna showed us how she landed. I managed to uh, grab her like this uh, with an, one of her arms on either side to kind of help break her fall. He sat on the grass next to her as paramedics covered the burns on her arms and tended to the scrape on his knee. It's about a one inch gash. It's nothing. Uh, I'm just happy that I was here to help. So is Nestelli's son, Jeremy Harris. I had just left the house about 15, 20 minutes ago before it happened, and I went down to the, be down to the beach with a friend of mine, and the neighbors called. Harris dropped off his friend and headed straight for the hospital. She was talking and all, but it, it's just not good. When he got back to the neighborhood, he found his home condemned. Burned curtains in the windows, the kitchen blackened by all the smoke. For now, he's not worried about all of that. All of those things can be replaced. His mother cannot. Just going to pray tonight and hope for the best. Nestelli is a math teacher at First Colonial High School. Friends say she's lived in this neighborhood for many, many years. I'm in McNamara, 10 on your side. And several families are displaced because of smoke damage. The fire department says the building is not safe to enter right now.